Welcome back to Frost Garage. So we're back here with Robbie Stafford. Say hey, Robbie. Hello. He's let me strap the Colorado back on the dyno again. Uh, we got a hose and everything for the wideband to work this time. So we're going to go ahead, slap the tune file in there, see what the fuel looks like, and make a few pulls on her, see if we can pick up some more power. So we'll look real quick. This is what it had last time we was here. So it was uh, 150 horsepower and 148 on the torque so that's what we had last time with that weird spike where it didn't get into power enrichment late so i'm gonna set you all up on the tripod we're going to go ahead start making some pulls on it and see what she'll put down So we got the results in on it. We made a couple pulls there. Final number we ended up with was uh, 160.8 and 156.3 on the torque. So we picked up about 10 at the peak and uh, eight on the torque for the peak. But the main big difference is down low where it wasn't getting in power enrichment before. You see it was only making 78 horsepower and it bumped up to 90 down low. And then it went from 135 on the torque to 155 on the torque. So as you see there, it made big gains down low all the way up to the peak. You get up here towards the top just before that big spike. And it's looking like it went from uh, 131 to 147 up there towards the top. So big gains overall. We'll get it out make uh, another quarter mile pulls on it and see what the time difference is is in the next video so stay tuned for that don't forget to hit the like subscribe button and check me out in the next one have a good one